Exciting news for myasthenia gravis patients. I hear from a lot of people who have myasthenia gravis, which I'm gonna just call MG from now on, about how horrible it is that they have no other options besides prednisone. But the exciting news today is that a study came out showing that another treatment might be as effective or possibly more effective than prednisone for MG. So I'm gonna just share those study results with you right now. The title of this study is Rituximab alone is as effective as associated with steroids on naive patients with generalized myasthenia gravis. So what they did is they took 69 people and some of them they gave prednisone and rituximab and the other group they gave only rituximab. And then they measured how well their disease was controlled and what they needed higher doses of steroids. And it turned out that rituximab alone needed less rescue doses of steroids than the combination of prednisone and rituximab, which is amazing. Like that is so amazing because there's never been any other option for myasthenia gravis. And I especially personally find this uh, great news and on a personal note, because rituximab is what took me out of my autoimmune condition. And so this drug worked for me. It was really special because I had personally had to take prednisone for six months at that point. And then the doctor said, we either need to remove your spleen, which is an organ in my body, or give you chemotherapy in the form of rituximab. And I was like, surgery or chemo, surgery, chemo. And I was like, I do not want to lose an organ. And I'd also looked at studies had found that younger female people who'd responded to steroids in the past did well for my condition, which is called ITP, with rituximab. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna try that. But I was a little bit scared because rituximab is known to have allergic reactions. So I called some of my cancer chemotherapy pharmacist friends and I said, how bad is it really? Like, I know what the drug listing says, but like in your personal experience, how bad is it? They're like, oh, pff, it's not bad at all. You just pre-medicate with certain medications so that you don't have those allergic reactions. I was like, okay, cool. So when I had to take rituximab, they gave me an infusion. So like in my veins, they gave me Tylenol, which is acetaminophen, and Benadryl, which is diphenhydramine, in my infusion. And they did that, and then 30 minutes later, they started the rituximab. And that's supposed to be enough to block allergic reactions. Well, I'm the kind of person who's allergic to basically everything, as far as medications, and I was, I was worried that it was gonna affect me. Sure enough, I actually did have a reaction my palate, like the top of my mouth, started to get all tingly and weird, as if like maybe my throat might close off. And even though I already had some Benadryl and Tylenol in my system, and I was getting a little loopy from that medicine, the nurses stopped my rituximab, increased my dose of Benadryl and Tylenol, and waited 30 minutes, and the tingling went away, and then they restarted that rituximab infusion. And so I was fine after that. And then I had four total infusions, and the second, third, and fourth times, they just doubled the dose of the pre-medications, so, and I was fine. And the first time they do it, they try to do it really slow so that they can catch those allergic reactions quickly. And so that first one took a long time. But then the other ones took less time and less time and less time as they knew my body was coping with it. What this study showed was one dose of one gram of rituximab on day one, and then on day 15, they did another dose. And that was it, just two doses. I had to get four. And that was enough to keep people for three months. So that was really good news because MG is such a horrible disease where your eyelid can stop working, your breathing muscles can stop working. It's attacking the neuromuscular junction where the muscles and the nerves meet. And there's an issue in the connection there. And so how does rituximab work? Well, they're not really sure how it works for MG. It was originally designed as, like I said, a chemotherapy drug for B, as in boy, B cell cancers. And 
it worked for my condition, for my autoimmune disease, and it has worked for other autoimmune diseases too. So it's really exciting that they found out that it works for MG as well. If you liked this video, please share it with your MG friends and let them know that great, exciting news and subscribe to my channel. Thanks. Signing off as Dr. Megan, your prednisone pharmacist.